Welcome to Grace Cathedral's online ministry, where we are equipping and empowering everyone to evangelize effectively. Stay tuned for a power-packed message designed to equip and empower. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. And we rejoice and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. This morning we want to lift up our voices like never before. Hallelujah. It's y'all and it's us this morning. As you can see, our musicians are not here. But guess what? God be glorified and God be praised. And he inhabits the praises of his people. And so audibly, we lift up his name and give him glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Let us sing. 
where our mission is equipping and empowering everyone to evangelize effectively. I am Jocelyn Jackson. I'll be your worship leader on this morning. On behalf of our senior pastor and our first lady, our senior pastor William Covington and our first lady, Julia Covington, and the entire Grace Cathedral family, we want to welcome you to our worship experience. Our scripture reading, we're going to go ahead to our scripture reading. It's going to be coming from Matthew, the 11th chapter, starting at the 28th verse. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Amen. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Amen. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we are just so thankful for you this morning. We're just so thankful for the joy of the Lord that continues to just weld up in, within us. I don't even know if weld is a word, but Lord, Father, that just bubbles up within us, Lord. We're just so thankful for your joy, Lord. We're just so thankful that this thing is not, not, not something that the world gave, so it's something that's stored within us that you have given us as a gift, and we're so thankful that we can experience that on this morning. We're just so grateful for your love and your kindness, Lord, for continuing to just to shine on us this morning. And Lord, we just ask as we go before you in this day and this service that you will be with us, that you will speak a word to us, that you will give our hearts something to just, just cling to, Father. Father, and if there's anyone in here who is in need of anything from you, Lord, we just ask that you will just meet that need, that whatever they're seeking from you, Father, whatever it is, Father, we ask that you just go and meet that need, Father. And for those that are not here, Father, we just ask that you will continue to look over them, Lord, that you will be whatever they need for you to be, Father. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning, my name is Amira Harris. And my name is Jayla Chamberlain. And these are the announcements for this week. On first Tuesday, we have corporate prayer at 7 p.m. On second and third Tuesday, we have Bible study at 7 p.m. Every second Saturday is Women's Fellowship, 9 a.m. via Zoom. Every second and fourth Saturday is Men's Fellowship, 11 a.m. via Zoom. To view all of our services, go to gracecathedralonline.org and click the links for Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Attention everyone. We have an incredible opportunity for you to make a difference in the lives of our children in need with our winter sneaker drive. Grace Cathedral and the Generals Future Charity are joining forces to collect 25 pairs of brand new athletic sneakers for 25 kids at Sea Pleasant Elementary School. This drive is all about bringing comfort and joy to these young hearts during the winter season. So your support is essential in making a lasting impact. Together, we can create a community that spreads passion and love. Please note that we are currently in the process of gathering shoe sizes from the families. We want to ensure that each child receives the perfect fit, keeping their comfort and safety in mind. So mark your calendars for the collection dates, November 19th and 26th. On these days, we will be accepting brand new athletic sneakers at Grace Cathedral. Let's unite as a community to make this winter sneaker drive a huge success. Your contribution will bring smiles to the faces of these children and remind them that they are cared for and cherished. For more updates and information, please speak with Minister Terrence Jackson. Thank you for your continued support. Together, let's make this winter sneaker drive a season of smiles, compassion, and joy for these incredible kids. Now on to the birthdays for this week. On December 20th, First Lady, aka my grandmother, will be celebrating her birthday. Happy birthday and we'll wish you many, 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 many more. That's all that we have for this week, and we hope you have a blessed week. Bye. Worship experience, let us prepare our hearts for our, to honor the Lord in our tithe and our offering. We encourage you to use a Grace Cathedral envelope, and if you do not have one, you can raise your hand and the ushers will serve you. You can also give an offering digitally. We have several means available. You may use the Giveify app. Now, if you don't have it downloaded to your device, no worries. You can go over to our website, which is gracecathedralonline.org. You can scroll down a little bit and you'll see the blue Give and Fly button there. You can use that. So we also have mobile giving where you can text Grace Give to 54244 or you can download the Grace Cathedrals app. And lastly, you can send an offering through the mail. Our mailing address is Grace Cathedral 6107 
Seat Pleasant Drive, Capitol Heights, Maryland, 20743. You can visit our website at any time to give by either of those methods. And when you bow your heads in a prayer for our offering. Father God, we're just so thankful that we're that you've given us these gifts. We ask that you will just receive these gifts and that you will bless them, that they may grow and that they may be used for the uplifting of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen.
Yes, I do. Because you first. Because you first love me. chapter 11 beginning at verse 28 it says come to me all you who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Father, in Amen. Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. I thank you for the power yes, of your word. Thank you. I ask that you will bless the presentation today. Help yes, us Lord. to declare what we think we discovered. Give us words to express this word that it will be a blessing to those that we hear. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. I pray. Amen. 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 An invitation is just a snapshot of a coming event. Mm -hmm. One's decision to accept or RSVP or regretfully decline the invitation may be based on the occasion, the date, the time, the venue, mm -hmm. or the event. Still, the invitation is just a snapshot of a planned and scheduled event that portrays a summary of the event without respect to any process one cannot experience the event, how the event will fare unless they RSVP and attend the event. Okay. Mm -hmm. Such is the case when anyone accepts Christ's invitation to come to me. Amen. Yes. It's an invite. Yes. I'm going to tag this text, the invite, okay. or the invitation, because we all, th there's an open Standing invitation mm -hmm. to come to Christ. Yes. Everyone, I said everyone, uh -huh. this, this invitation is extended to everybody. Mm -hmm. No matter what the circumstances are in your life, no matter what your plight is in life, what your circumstances are, this invitation, this call to salvation is offered to every breathing soul. Yes, yes. And you know what? We pretty much need to respond to that invitation. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. <laughs> have you ever witnessed or heard about somebody who was having a party or having an event and you didn't get invited? <laughs> How you felt? <laughs> they did what? They had what? And I didn't get, where's my invitation? Uh -huh. Now, some of y'all from around the way, y'all would just crash the party. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell them myself. <laughs> We're coming up in this neighborhood. If we didn't get an invite, oh, we got invited. We invited ourselves. <laughs> but you would feel bad if, if they at least didn't give you the opportunity to turn them down. To turn them down. Yeah. <laughs> at least think about me. As a uh -huh. matter of fact, you feel kind of good. You know what? They invited me. Uh -huh. I got an invitation. Uh -huh. I'm going to this event. I've got to get dressed. I got to get an outfit. I gotta do, I gotta prepare. I'm going to this event where Christ come on, come on. has this is the letter yes. uh -huh. of invitation. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 You can rejoice yes. and be glad yes. that somebody yes. so that much of yes. you value your presence and your friendship yes. to right. the degree that they want to include That's you right. That's yes. right. in their life. Yes. Right. Yeah. Include yeah. you yeah. in what they had going on. Yeah. I'm so glad. So glad. So that before the foundation of the world, yes. God yes. had already decided to send his son to yes. mend the breach of sin between mankind and himself. Yes. And he invited us. Yes. Yes. Say, come to me. Yes. Yes. All, all 
Oh. That labor uh -huh. and heavy labor. Right. Yeah. You struggling with something. You yeah. working hard at something. Yeah. It's got you burned down. Yes. You, you can hardly put one foot before yeah. the other. Yeah. But Christ has a standing invitation. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now, for example, when Jesus said to Peter, Andrew, James, and John, these were the first four, according to the gospel, that was offered this invitation. When Jesus offered or said to them, follow me, mm -hmm. and I will make you fishers of men. Yeah. There was no way that they could ascertain the, the events, the, 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 the cascade of events that would come to pass mm -hmm. just from the snapshot of becoming fishers of men. Yes. So let me set you up right now. <laughs> You get invited to an event, you don't know how it's going to fare, you don't know what's planned, you don't know what's there, you're just going to show up, but, but you don't have an idea yet. you just responding to the event. You accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you respond to the invitation to come, and you have no idea oh, of the cascade of events that's oh. going to come to pass oh, from the point you say, yes, Lord, I surrender all, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. and then you don't know what that's going to cost you. That's right. Thank well, you, let, let me let you know right now, it's going to cost you your life. Everything. That's right. It's going right. to cost you your that's time. Right. It's right. going to cost you your treasure. It's that's going to cost right. you your talent. When you say, yes, Lord, I surrender, you don't know what you just accepted the invitation to, but it's going to be a, it's going to be a dynamic life. Yes. Dynamic meaning the pendulum of life swings from one end to the other. One day you could be crying, one day you could be rejoicing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Life, as they say these days, when it gets to lifing, <laughs> you're going to have, like in some countries in the world, they have all seasons at one time. Yeah. 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 There's going to be hard, cold, bitter winters. My Lord. There's going to be refreshing springs and wonderful summers and grand falls. But it's, sometimes life comes at you That's right. and you're going to have the dynamics of it. Yes. But the invitation still stands. Mm -hmm. Amen. Here's the deal. Thank you, sir. When Jesus says, follow me mm -hmm. and I will make you fishers of men. Mm -hmm. yes. It's a Christ-centered command mm -hmm. to get you close or closer to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. When Jesus Amen. says, follow me uh -huh. because he is Lord and Savior and mm -hmm. sovereign, mm -hmm. it's really not a suggestion. That's right. Come in. Don't, don't get it twisted. Right. Even if those in authority in your life, you're like your parents, if, if they mention something, if you don't have an option. <laughs> Just take it as a command. Amen. My mentor one time said to me, he said, just in passing, he said, you ought to go to school and kept walking. I'm like, you got nothing else to say? Amen. What did I do? I went to school. So when he says, come to me, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Fishers of men. It's a Christ center. Christ center because you're going to follow Christ. So first of all, he gives the invitation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You got to listen, and you don't have to listen hard. Mm -hmm. Because every time you turn around, Christ is sending his word somewhere. Amen. Yes. He's sending Amen. his word Amen. to you. Yes. Amen. Either, look, first of all, your own consciousness. Yes. Yes. There's a level of God consciousness you, that Thank resides you. in everybody that's breathing. That's right. In the air or in the center of your soul, the Thank core you. of your being, or who you are, or think you are, there's a spot there reserved for God and yes. God alone. Yes. 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 So, 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 you you sort of already feel like God is calling. Amen. Amen. Before you Amen. get to make the decision or even come to visit a church, you, you already feel like Thank because you. innately you. you know what you ought to do. That's right. That's, That's right. right. God has hardwired us yes. to know him. Thank you, Jesus. God has fixed his soul Thank you, Jesus. that we realize outside of ourselves there's an objective objective being, there's a source, there's a power yes. that resides yes. that, that has the answers Thank to you, everything. Thank God you. calls us. It's a standing invitation. Thank you, Thank you. And that place mm -hmm. where you, 
that spot where you answer to God is only reserved for him. Thank you, Jesus. you may turn down a lot of things, but you can't boldly yes, turn down Amen. God and get away with it. Amen. You're not going to boldly just stand up and make a declaration and put your foot down and tell God no. You're bad somebody. If you think you can stand toe to toe with the creator of the universe, if you think you have Argument enough, conversation enough, dissertation enough to to to, to combat the, the, the this, what God would have has already said to you. If you think you can combat that, I'll take you to the Book of Job. Come on, just to give you an example in a biblical roadmap, what's just gonna how that's gonna fare for you? Amen. Job was just talking a whole lot of stuff, him and all his friends, until God showed up. And when God showed up, Job threw up his hand and said, you know what? I quit. God said, oh, no, no, no. You started it. Now we're going to have this conversation. So she, so she had so much to say. So, so the behind my back, now face to face, go ahead and press your argument. Bring your premise. Defend your argument. Push your case. Yes. God gives us an invitation. Yes, he does. That invitation is extended to everybody. Mm -hmm. No matter what your plight. That's right. Everyone carries some kind of a weight. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Or you have experienced it. You are experiencing it. Or it's on the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> There, 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 there's something on your mind. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can get rid of that real quick, but but there's something on your heart. Mm. If you don't get it dealt with, and then it's going to weigh you down. That's right, that's right. Amen. It, it's going to stop your progression mm -hmm. yeah. in life. Mm -hmm. it, sometimes a burden, it can paralyze you. Yeah. Well, you can't see your way past Tuesday mm -hmm. simply because of the stuff that you got to deal with. And some people will use other things to find rest and relief to get rid of the burden and the labor. I don't need to itemize Amen. what those things are. You got a good idea of, of what the substitutes are. That's right. What you subsidize to try to yeah. find some rest, mm -hmm. try to find some peace. Search all day long, search forever, but that what you need is only in Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Doesn't matter how intelligent you are, how much money you got, how pretty you are, it does not matter. That Christ has a spot reserved only for himself in every individual. It doesn't matter your plight, your plight in life. The invitation says, Come. To me, come to me. That, here's what I like about it. That means our invitation is Christ-centered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not a personality-driven situation. It's Christ-centered. You're not coming to another person. Yeah. You, you, you're not joining a cult. Mm -hmm. You're not following individuals or, or, or just whoever whoever's top ten this week. Oh, you're not chasing fantasies. Mm -hmm. Or jumping from one fad to the other, That's right. one hashtag to the other, or whatever's trending today. Mm -hmm. He said, come to me. Mm -hmm. This call, this invitation is Christ-centered. Yes. You know what? That'll help you. Amen. If Amen. you keep things Christ-centered, yes. you'll yes. always be centered. My Lord. That's right. That's right. If you filter everything mm -hmm. through the scriptures, mm -hmm. if you filter everything through Christ. Amen. Almost Amen. like you said, what would Jesus do? Well, check Amen. the text Amen. and find out what's implied, what's imperative. If you, if you search the scripture, it, come to me, come to Christ. Mm -hmm. You're coming to Christ. You're Amen. not coming to a church, Amen. a denomination, a cult, a person or individual. You're, the invitation is to come to Christ. It is Christ-centered. Our call to salvation. Salvation is Christ-centered. Yes. 
Amen. Salvation is only found in Jesus Christ alone. That's right. That's right. Bold That's right. and dogmatic right. is the statement, but That's he said, right. come unto me. That's right. Amen, amen, amen. He said, no man comes to the Father except yes, by me. Right. Amen. Folks can argue and fight that all, but it's yes. Christ-centered. That's right. It's Christ-centered. Yes. He said, come to me. He is the object, not the church, not the creed, not the clergyman, but the living Christ. Salvation is in the person and work of Jesus the Christ. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Those who have Jesus are as saved as God can make them. Amen. Now, in the process of sanctification yeah. and salvation, salvation can happen. You you are saved as God can save you. Sanctification is the process into that walk. That's right. That's right. That you will experience, and that's when life gets to life. And because you. you give your life to Christ, you, it's not all of a sudden a flowery bed yeah, of ease. Right. Right. You're not exempt. From nothing that right. that this world has to offer, yeah, sufficient to the day is the evil thereof. Yeah, right. The sun, the rain, the storm do all of that on the just and the unjust alike. That's right. Amen. And everybody's gonna get a turn one day when we're gonna say ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Mm. But keep it Christ centered in your life. Salvation is in Him, Him alone. Now, those of us that are coming to Christ, sometimes we come with a burden. All you that labor, in order to truly come to Jesus, a person must admit that he is burdened with the weight of sin. Amen. Now, I know sin to a lot of people today is subjective. <laughs> and, and, and they got this very, don't judge me. <laughs> well, well, let me keep it simple. Sin is just missing the mark mm -hmm. that God uh, of the standard of God. It's almost like those of you that know anything about archery and you have a target of bullseye and you have your bow and your arrow and you aim for it, you aim to at least hit the target. Okay. But if you miss the target, that's what sin is. You miss the target. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People aim for God without God. They miss the target. People try to be good on their own mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and, and be, try to be self-contained. Uh -huh. Sinners and saints alike sometimes have a certain air of self-righteousness. Right. Right. Sinners feel like they don't need God. Saints feel like you need God. <laughs> Either way, you miss the mark. Right. So saints and sinners has to repent. Yes, yes. Now, 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 when you admit, you know what, I am a sinner, and, and, and the labor and the burden that I carry, although the practical things won't dismiss from me, but ultimately that weight and that burden is because of sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. In order to get the weight mm -hmm. and the burden, the penalty Amen. and the punishment of mm -hmm. sin off your life, mm -hmm. you have to accept Jesus Christ. Amen. That's right. Amen. The invitation. The invitation. Yes. Come to me. This invitation morphs into an imperative. Mm -hmm. Let me read the, the rest of the verse. It morphs into it. First is the invitation, as Christ said, but it morphs into an imperative. Verse 29 it said, Take. That's not a suggestion. It's a command. Mm -hmm. Take my yoke uh -huh. upon you and learn of me. Mm -hmm. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. Yes, thank you. Amen. It's an imperative. Mm -hmm. He says, Come to me. And after you get here, after you accept the invitation, the imperative is I want you to take my yoke. Mm -hmm. Amen. Here's the deal. You, you all are not from the country. Y'all from the city. Y'all don't know anything about agriculture or farming. <laughs> but in Monroe, North Carolina, where I was from, where, where they had animals plowing the field, they had this board, this yoke that would go on both animals as they would pull the load. But suppose they still had a, a, 
a, a, a yoke for two animals and only one animal was pulling, mm -hmm. then the yoke is going to lean on one side. Yeah, the field hard. got to still be plowed, mm -hmm. yeah. but it's going to be harder. It's going to be harder. So many of us are doing it in life. We're yoked with the harness of life by ourselves. Mm. And Jesus is saying, take my yoke. Mm -hmm. In other words, life is not meant to be done alone. That's right. That's right. That's right. So what Jesus is offering us, he said, I'm going to come up and I'm going to be yoked with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's going to lighten the load. That's going to make Jesus. the work a little Jesus. easier. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because we're doing it together. Right. I'm not doing this by myself. That's right. That's right. I'm not crying alone. Amen. I'm, not right. doing the, I'm not carrying the burden That's alone. Right. I'm Amen. not dealing with the weight. That's right. Uh, That's right. Uh, 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 well, I'm not dealing with the weight of how health issues become a problem. Mm -hmm. Financial issues Amen. become a problem. Mm -hmm. Physical issues become yeah, a problem. Yeah. Emotional issues become mm -hmm. a problem. And, and sometimes these things get waiting, 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 and we almost vanish and disappear Amen. because Amen. Thank I mean, you, you just come recluse and you just don't want to be bothered mm -hmm. because you're going through stuff. Mm -hmm. Crisis, he said, take mm -hmm. my, yoke. my yoke upon you and learn of me. So, so when you're walking with Christ, mm -hmm. you begin to, ooh, Socrates <laughs> was a teacher. And his method of teaching, he didn't do the, the, the lecture, he didn't do the classroom. He would get his students and they would walk. Yeah. Uh -huh. They would just walk as he would talk, they would walk. What happened, when you start walking, all of a sudden you're walking in step, you're walking in time, you're walking together. You're going to agree with what I got to tell you after a while because we're walking. We're already walking in sync. Together. So the, con mm -hmm. the concept of us walking together, mm -hmm. walking together, doing life together, the Amen. concept of us Amen. doing life together, you're going to get what I have to say because we are already, I got you walking with me. We're in sync. Mm -hmm. Walk with God. Yes. yes. Amen. Walk with God. Walk with God. Walk with God. Yeah. You get in sync. Walk yes. with the word. Yes. You get in sync. Yes. And all of a sudden, yes. you start hearing them because, first of all, you got to keep time, you got to keep pace, and you got to listen to it. But, so, so you're all in, you're totally focused. You're Walk. walking, yeah. listening, you're and thinking, walking. Yes. Do that. Yes. Amen. Yes. Pick up your Bible. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read it all the time. Read it every chance Thank you get. You, Listen to the word of God. Muse on it. Walk Thank with it. And, and, and let God walk with you. Yes. The burden, the stuff that you do have to carry and do have to deal Thank with you. because life is just life. Doing with God, he said, here's what he said. He said, take my yoke upon you, mm -hmm. and then you're going to learn of me. You're going to learn. Amen. Amen. Well, I tell you, we don't know everything. No, we don't. When we were younger, we thought we knew everything. <laughs> At least some of y'all. <laughs> here's a running joke that I was born grown. Oh, <laughs> I was grown Amen. So Amen. But the truth of the matter is. You know. That was not the case at all. But, 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 but here's what I did have. I was, I was allowed to hang around the older men. I, I was allowed in the room. Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything. I was just present when the old guys were talking and doing their thing. Mm -hmm. I was in the room. Christ is inviting you in the room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, 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 he's provided space for you to come and sit at the table mm -hmm. and just absorb everything that you can. Mm -hmm. just, just take it all. He said, wait a minute. This imperative means it's an immediate action. Stop stalling. Yeah. The last thing you want to happen is for the window of opportunity to close. Amen, oh. amen. Thank you. My Lord. My Lord. Mm. You think you're doing bad now. Hey. See an opportunity, procrastinate if you will, you, and watch Jesus. that window close for you, but somebody else Thank is you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. basking in the, the ray and the sunshine of the, the window that you let close. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's a good deacon in this church. I don't know if I got it from him or he got it from me, but he says, and we say, if you're going to procrastinate, do, do it now. now. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. This imperative is immediate. 
When Jesus called his disciples, they was working, they was doing stuff, they was minding their own business, they was mending their nets, and he was walking, he said, follow me. They dropped what they were doing and followed him. They, they didn't, it wasn't a discussion, they didn't call a meeting, didn't have to have a quorum, nobody, there was no vote, they, had, they didn't have to confer with nobody. When God invites your soul Thank you, Jesus. to come to him, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. take the invitation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Accept the invitation. Yes. Now, you don't know what's going to happen after that. Mm -hmm. But you do know this. Christ said, Lo, I'm with you always, always. even to the yeah. end of the world. Yeah. So Christ is always actively engaged Amen. with the walk that you have. Amen. He's Amen. actively Thank engaged. You're you. never going to be walking alone to take my yoke. It's going to balance the load. Yes. Submit to me. It's going to balance the load and you're going to have better control. That ox with one side of the yoke missing is, is all balance. Mm -hmm. You're walking with Christ, your life is going to be a little more balanced. Amen. You're going to be able to make those steps. You're going to be able to go ahead and progress. You're going to be able to go. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing about the disimperative of taking my yoke and learning of me, this learning is not just information Come on. or instruction, mm -hmm. but it's got to be inspiring, inspiration. Mm -hmm. or you, good readers can read the Bible and get a good and comprehend what it's all saying. You can get the information. You can even follow the instruction. Yeah. But the life comes, the inspiration yeah, comes yeah. From, 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 he said, learn of me. Mm -hmm. And then you, you will find rest for your soul. Mm -hmm. This invitation is imperative. This invitation not only cascades or morphs into an imperative, but it also morphs to levels of intimacy with Christ. Mm -hmm. This is an invitation, it's imperative, and got to talk, it's intimate. Mm -hmm. Verse 30, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This Christ-centered command is given so that we get close to Christ. That's right, mm -hmm. that's right. Close Have a level of Amen. intimacy. Not, not just know about him, or know of him, mm -hmm. but to know him. Mm -hmm. Not just the information and the instructions, mm -hmm. but in an inspiring, intimate way to know him. Mm -hmm. Amen. To really get to know him, to, to live a life in fellowship mm -hmm. with him, mm -hmm. to be able to commune with him and talk with him even when you're not using words, mm -hmm. to communicate with him and Amen. talk with him. When you're not by yourself or by yourself, you can be in a private room mm -hmm. and still Amen. communicate. To know him, yes. have yes. an intimate relationship. When you take a break from all activity, all activity, and carve out time just to be with him. Amen. 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 You don't have to struggle with the, the, the quantity or the quality. Just mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you, if you do any of it, it's going to be full of quality. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. If you spend any of oh, the thief on the cross, on. the one that figured out, you know what, I'm up here for something I did and I deserve it, but this guy doesn't know. Lord, remember me Come on. when you're coming to your kingdom. Come on. It was just a, a brief moment. Yeah. Excuse this, but that he hung out with Christ. Amen, amen. And in that moment, mm -hmm. Christ said, you know what? Today, amen. you are going to be with Talk me, to me now. in Talk paradise. To me now. Talk to me now. Take the invitation, y'all. Yeah. Do the imperative. Yes. Develop an intimate relationship. Yes. He said, look, my yoke, my yoke, my yoke. Mm -hmm. uh, H. Jewett says, the fatal mistake for the believer is to seek to bear life's load in a single car. Mm -hmm. God never intended a man to carry his burden alone. Mm -hmm. Christ, therefore, deals only in yokes. Mm -hmm. 
A yoke is a neck harness for two. The Lord himself pleads to be Amen. one of the two. Amen. 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 One of the two. Mm -hmm. His burden is light. This does not mean that there are no problems, trials, labor, or heartaches in the Christian's life. But it does mean that we do not have to bear them alone. Amen. We are yoked with one who gives sufficient grace for yes. every time, yes. every kind of need. Yes. To serve him is not bondage, but perfect freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. It's a standing invitation. That's all I got for you today. Amen. If you're not accepting Jesus you. Christ Amen. as your personal Savior, let me invite you Amen. to respond to the call of salvation. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Your soul should be jumping for joy right now yeah. to somebody yeah. value you that yeah. much right. that you say, you know, when I'm making up my list, yeah. Or who I want to invite and come. Thank you know what? Let me invite so and so. Yeah, I would love to have them there. Man, I, I, I need to have them there. Yeah. Christ, Christ. Thank you, Jesus. has a standing invitation. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And he wants you, yes. thank you Jesus. to respond in such a way. Yes, He's got some promises laid out for you. Mm -hmm. But first, you got to respond to the yes, invitation. Amen. 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 Father, in Jesus' yes, name. Lord Jesus. We, again and again and again, mm. want to keep responding to your invitation. Yes, Lord, whenever you call yes, us yes. through your word, through your yes. spirit, whenever you prompt us yes. to go here, to go there, to say this, to say that, to do this, that, or the other. However you lead us, Lord, we take it as an invite. Mm. And whatever the imperative is, God, we want to be able to do it immediately and not debate and argue about mm. what you have laid out for us to do and why we're doing it. Help us to walk so close to you. Amen. So close to you that there would never be any doubt. Mm. No matter what life sends our way, we know we're not yoked by ourselves, but it's with you. This is our prayer in Jesus' yes. name. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 May God bless you all. Awesome. May God bless you. Thank you for joining the service today. I trust that that message was a blessing to you. And for those who have not done so already, I want to encourage you to surrender your heart to the Lord. According to Romans chapter 10, beginning in verse 9, the text says, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. Please consider this passage of scripture, internalize it for yourself and ask God to come into your heart and come to, into your life. Until next time, may God be with you. Amen. God bless you and thank you for tuning in. For more information on the ministry, please visit our website, gracecathedralonline.org.